Juice Lunch Jam event continues. In fact, this is actually the very last day of it. I'm Suzanne Runyon. Thanks for joining me. I have to tell you, I'm so excited to introduce you to the man that you'll be meeting in just a few moments. It's only his second full hour of the entire day, and Michael has put together just this breathtaking today's special, this glorious collection. It's one of those items that you put it on, you just go, yeah, I kind of need to add that to my wardrobe. Why? Because we're talking about some of the rarest gemstones in the world, and we launched this part of the hour with another look. In fact, again, the only, the second full hour of the day with Michael at our incredible today's special he's put together, so let's do it. The premiere of Michael's show. Um, we had one hour at midnight. He is back for an hour with me. You're gonna meet him in just a moment. He's known throughout the world. He's been in the gem business for more than 40 years and he just creates wow. You know, it's funny, as host, we do so many hours, especially if you've been doing this for a long time and I've been at our sister network QVC and here at HSN, alone HSN 16 years. And you know, you, you do a whole lot of jewelry in those years and you see a lot of things. And I get, you know, we're sort of jaded really because we kind of see it all. And then I walked in today and looked at my show and I thought, wow, not only am I so excited to work with Michael, but when I saw this today special, no lie, I told Colleen in the break, I said, this Tanzanite has to be in my collection. If you love Sleeping Beauty, this has to be in your collection. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. It's one of the rarest, most coveted turquoise in the world. It's on my finger via Michael. But I want you to really look at this tans night because it's actually the most limited right now. Again, we launched this at midnight. We've already lost size 12. This is probably one of your final last chance to be able to get the tans night. But if we can go in really tight, I'm gonna get Michael here in just a second. I want you to see the quality. Girls, it's breathtaking. It is one of the finest tans night rings I have ever seen in many, many years of doing this job. It is something that is so collectible. It's so beautifully executed. It is a gorgeous combination of that warm gold. He'll talk about his platinum alloying, which is very interesting. We'll tell you where these come from in just a couple of moments. But if you are thinking about this tanzanite, now is absolutely the time to order it. In fact, I regret not getting it before I got to the studio. I didn't have time to run back to my desk to order it. The other one we have is Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Sleeping Beauty, number one most coveted turquoise from any of the finest jewelry couture houses, from any of the designers out there, you want Sleeping Beauty. It has not been mine since 2012, and yet Michael was able to procure it and put it into this incredible one-day value. Now, the third one, and I have to tell you, I am super pumped to hear the story from Michael on this. This is called Green Grizzly Emerald. And here's something that's quite fascinating is this, and I love this, this is a site that actually they hold the deposit on. So it's Grizzly Emerald. Look at the quality, look at the clarity. It is fantastic. Now the turquoise is $139.98, the tanzanite is $166.54, and the emerald is $219.97. And once, I wanna show you the additional pieces because here's what's gonna sell out pretty quick. And I'm gonna give you a complete update and then I promise you'll see Michael in just a sec. Let's talk about the pendant. I love this pendant. He did multi-link. So he took something and made it really updated, really interesting. I love this. And it lays beautifully on the neckline. Again, tanzanite, turquoise, and emerald. Now, what do I have? In the necklace, I have 194 remaining. That's it. That's for 80 million households. That's, I have 194. So again, we'll give you a close-up look before it is completely gone. Now, I do wanna talk about the hoops and these are delicious. They're easy to wear, they're comfortable on the ear. I have a little over 200 left. Again, that's all I have. There's your Grizzly Emerald. There's that amazing Sleeping Beauty turquoise. And last call on the Sleeping Beauty, that does not surprise me at all. And then there is that sensational violet uh, tanzanite, which is just gorgeous. Now, something I also want you to see before we move on is we have three bracelets and these are equally beautiful. It's a stunning collection. Again, I have all three options here. We'll talk about how we create them, where they all came from. And in the cuff, there's your three options. I'll give you more scoop on that. We also have another beautiful ring that can go back to the collection if you'd like to pick it up. And Rob, my producer, put it right there. All right, is Michael ready? We ready to go? Indeed he is, so let's introduce him. Uh, Michael, I have to say, I number one, I'm so excited to work with you. <laughs> I'm very excited to meet you and work with you. And, and number two, I mean, I can't go on and on. I mean, I can go on and on. Um, 
I, I literally walked in and it's true. You've seen gemstones for more than 40 years in your career. You travel all over the world. Yeah. You bring us these incredible collections today and congrats on your premiere. We're so proud you're here and we're so happy. But it absolutely knocked my socks off when I saw what you were able to achieve. This level of quality, the level of rarity in our today's special. Thank you for doing that for all of us because indeed this is a treat. You know what, and it's absolutely my pleasure. I can see on the screen here, we're starting off with the Grizzly Emerald. And you know, Suzanne, Emerald is the most valuable colored gemstone in the world. I mean, you know, there was a recent Emerald auction in 2017. I think it was the Rockefeller Emerald sold for $5.5 million for one gemstone. And bringing you uh, an Emerald of this caliber, of this quality, this clarity, at, you know, this network for this price is really, really challenging. We're able to do it, Suzanne, because we are now a site holder with the Grizzly Emerald Mine. The Grizzly Emerald Mine is the second largest emerald deposit in the world. It's in Zambia. What makes it special is that it's what we call a schist emerald. And that's a wonderful view of the mine. That dark earth you're seeing there is the mica schist. Behind it is is a layer of quartz and quartzite. The contact zone is between that layer and the quartz and quartzite. What happens is, is that when the continental plates collided, chromium was present with the mafic rock and it caused these emeralds to form. These emeralds, Suzanne, are between two and 2.8 billion years old. They're one of the oldest gemstones mm -hmm. that a human being can own. We have it. And the color, by the way, Suzanne, is natural. I have the rough here in front of me. These have not been heat treated. They've not been irradiated. The green that you see is as it was formed by Mother Nature. Wow. They are of exceptional, exceptional <laughs> quality. They're just delicious, Michael. It's just, they're so green. They're so vivid. Can we take a moment, though? Just have a moment here. Yes. You've got to tell me how in the world did you get Sleeping Beauty turquoise? Because some of the most elite um, jewelry designers in the world cannot get their hands on Sleeping Beauty. Uh, I have a very personal relationship with the House of Chimino. They're very good friends of mine. Uh, they're very close with Monty Quinner, who was the original owner of the uh, Sleeping Beauty mine. They were able to get rough. Now, do you notice how um, the Sleeping Beauty is a little bit larger Wider. than the other stones? Mm -hmm. We were supposed to supply Suzanne the 4 by 3s to match the other two designs. He didn't have any. I had to pay more to get the larger stones, so oh, wow. you're getting a benefit. You'll notice the ring will be a little bit bigger, the stones a little bit bigger. That's on me. You don't have to pay for that. So <laughs> um, getting these stones was a challenge. And you're right, Suzanne. You know, as a gemologist, turquoise likes to be matrix. It's the way it forms. It likes to mix with other minerals. Sleeping Beauty is unsurpassed. I, I know as a gemologist, 40 years in the business, two deposits that have ever been like the Sleeping Beauty, and then there was one in Persia back in the 1800s. That's it. Other than that, in human history, you can't find material like this because it doesn't like to be formed in a pure vein. It likes to be mixed with other minerals. This is really a legacy stone, and in my opinion, it's almost impossible to get. I'm not sure I can do this again, to be quite frank with you. Oh, I can. I cannot imagine. And each of these have 15 stones total. And guys, and thank you, Michael, for pointing this out. I want you to see all of them fit very, very comfortably. No issue there. They're just delightful on the finger. You can type, you can use your phone, you can drive the whole thing. They are a bold look, which is just right down my alley. I mean, I love bold jewelry. But notice that the turquoise is going to be wider and yet wildly comfortable. So you do get more turquoise when you think about just the pure size of this. And then, honestly, Michael, one of my favorite, all-time favorite stones has to be the tanzanite only because yeah. for me i love the magic behind it i love the color of tanzanite that stunning violet cool story behind it though um mother nature says i'll give you two colors and then produce a third uh to make the tanzanite violet can you kind of explain how that works yeah, absolutely. And it's the only blue color stone in the world that actually does this and actually have some footage of it under a dichroscope. It's a special tool we gemologists use to see the separation of color. Now, there is a natural crystal of tanzanite. Wow. Now, look That's at what so I'm cool. doing. That dichroscope is showing, Suzanne, the separation of color between the fuchsia, which is a hot color, and the blue, which is a cool color. Gemologically, this is the only stone in the world that mixes a hot color and a blue color together, and our human eye mixes these two colors together. That's why everyone, you walk into a room, you wear a tanzanite like that, 
people notice you because it's hot yeah. and it's cool at the at same, same time. time. That's why it's been so popular since the 60s when it was introduced. Oh, I got to give some updates, Michael, too. So hang with me for one second. If indeed okay. you want the tanzanite, now the numbers are starting to tumble really low on it. And again, dumb mistake on my part. Um, this is even more spectacular when you get it at home. When you open that box and you put it on your finger, you just go... <gasps> Oh my gosh, and, and again, I've, I've seen Tanzanite in Africa. You know? <laughs> Tanzania, we all are familiar with that. And this is actually more stunning than pieces that I've seen that are several thousand dollars more. It truly is, and it's the real deal. So if you want the Tanzanite, here we go. I have sizes in everything five through, well, in Tanzanite, I'm down five through 11. Rob, let's do a quantity update, and I know you mentioned another size that was about to sell out. Okay, in Tanzanite, Five, size five, I have 16 left. And overall, how many do I have in the Tanzanite, Rob? Okay, I have 650 left in the Tanzanite for the entire day. Now, Michael will not be on later on until the finale with Adam. And I think that starts at nine o'clock tonight. The big Tucson Gem event is gonna end tonight at midnight. So if you are thinking about getting the Tanzanite, it is many hours between now and 9 p.m. We will be, if not sold out, very limited in sizing. And I just don't want you to miss out on it. If tanzanite is one of those exotic stones that you wanted to collect, maybe you've seen little specks of tanzanite and thought, gosh, I've paid more than 166 for that for sure. Not 15 stones, not all precious metal. Then this is the time to get your tanzanite. Michael's with me now. He'll do, we'll do one more look at it next hour. So that tanzanite will be dangerously limited going into that big Tucson finale tonight. And it won't be seen till nine o'clock. So that's several hours especially if you're on the East Coast, obviously. We've got the bracelet. Update on the necklaces. I love these, Michael. They turned out just beautiful. I think they're very updated. They're easy to wear. You've got all these incredible gemstones. We're down to 175 total in all three choices. So we're less than 100 in each color. I, of course, I'm wearing the tanzanite. I had to put the tanzanite on. I'm like, <laughs> it's so rare, Michael, to be able to get to wear this kind of quality tanzanite. I even put the tanzanite earrings on. I'm like, daggone, I'm gonna wear them before they sell out next hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely. And you notice, Suzanne, the, the, the quality of the matching. Now, being a graduate gemologist, I'm actually sitting here in the factory. We've been here since 1946. I'm not that old, but the factory's been here. I've been here for 37 years, and I pick, a Suzanne, every single gemstone. So I have a gal that works with me together. We pick every single gem that's gone into these pieces. So I want to point out the match between that tanzanite and the necklace you're wearing or the bracelet, it's a perfect, wonderful match. And, you know, Suzanne, as time is going on, I recall 30 years ago, I was a much younger man, darker tanzanite, you get it at Tucson. You'd find it 30 years ago today. You really have to search for the good material. It's not as readily available as it once was, and that's because the deposit gets progressively mined out. There's no gem deposit that's going to last 30,000 years. Eventually, you know, you get to the core of the earth, it's gone. So... This deposit is fantastic, it's wonderful, but it's becoming more challenging to get the darker material, honestly, that everyone covets, but we were able to do it for this debut show. This is incredible. All right, now, Michael, let's talk about the way you use your precious metal. Describe what we're yes. seeing here, because a lot of people are very familiar with you, but I know we're introducing you to a whole new group of people, so kind of explain what you've done with your metal in this collection. Our metal is proudly manufactured by United Refining out of Buffalo, New York. And what it is, it's a melting of pure silver and palladium that's melted together. This stops the tarnishing process. So it's going to give you a tarnish resistance very similar to 10 karat gold. Because we eliminate a lot of that copper. Very, very important. You now can wear this and steam clean it the way you would 10 karat gold. Then we take real 18 karat gold and we do that for the plating. So when you see gold, that's real 18 karat gold that's been plated on top. The quality of this metal is unbelievable because we can brush it. We do the manufacturing right here in our factory. And brushing refers to a, a process where we get into those nooks and crannies with what they call a high-speed wire brush. That's the same technique that's used for gold, but most sterling silver being copper-based. It's kind of hard to do that with. So you're going to get more durability, more finish. Look, and Suzanne, you're there. You're feeling the pieces. Notice how smooth the finish is for the human touch. 
Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. You're absolutely right. Everything is so beautiful. I love the way you've done the scroll work on the sides of the ring. And, guys, it goes all the way back to the, both uh, shoulders on the ring. You have scroll work underneath the ring. It's a really elegant, dynamic, gorgeous piece. And this is one of those opportunities. If you're channel surfing, you're like, yeah, I'm a jewelry girl. I absolutely wouldn't pass that up. There's no way. Just if you talked about the Sleeping Beauty turquoise you're seeing right now, that in and of itself is the rarest turquoise out there. And it's the number one most coveted turquoise. And for Michael to be able to do this in a beautiful bold size, 15 stones, we are talking 139.98 and all precious metal. Now on top of that, I want you to notice we have five flex pays on all of our TS items, our today's special items. So you can get this home anywhere between $28 over the next five months or 33 over the next five months. Now you get it right away, but you pay it off in five months. And that's how you get an heirloom piece. And understand, you know, even for those of us who work and have done this for a long time, to have these three stones in front of me at once is really exceptional. It's exceptional quality. It's exceptional rarity. This is what's fun about jewelry. It's what's fun about what Michael brings us, is bring us amazing offers, stunning stones, some of the most expensive stones in the world, but we don't have to spend a fortune to do it. And that's Michael, because you have truly incredible relationships you've built over four decades. You know, you have people that you have connections with with that allow you to bring this in and we skip everything else. You don't have any famous stars, you don't have any big magazine layouts, you know. And I think that's why, you know, you were able to do just this incredible price on such a beautiful piece. And that's exactly it, Suzanne. And, and you'll notice that even as we go on to the show, what has kept me on television in America for 22 years simply is the quality and consistency of the quality of my gemstones. It's yeah. evident right there. Look at the color of that Sleeping Beauty. Look at that tanzanite. The beauty of the emerald, one of the hardest stones to bring to air because, you know, it gets naturally included. But look at the color of those emeralds. And when you see that, that is what this collection is all about. When I studied at GIA, I'm a full graduate gemologist, they taught me color is the most important thing. And I remember asking someone there, I said, What's, what does it take to be a success in this business? And he told me, he said, quality gems. If you stick with that, in the end, you'll win. Always give them the best quality that you can. Right. And that's exactly been my yardstick throughout four decades in this business. I mean, so then look at that emerald. I mean, look at these gemstones. It's They're so beautiful. great. Yeah. Well, and I love the fact that you are a site holder of the deposit. Okay. So I go yeah. out with a lot of people with jewelry and like actually just be yeah. on with someone who is invested in a deposit. Yeah. And obviously it's yeah. around the world. Uh, that's exciting. Yeah. And again, I think you guys, I think a lot of people look and go, come on, Sleeping Beauty, 139. It's got to be fake or done something funky to it. It's not. It's because Michael has these long-term incredible connections. Take advantage of it. I know I am. If there is any Tanzanite done and left after my second, oh, I'm actually on for three hours today, but after my third hour when I do an hour of Diane Gilman, trust me, I am ordering this Tanzanite. Even I who have sold millions of dollars worth of jewelry on air, I understand the, the, the wow factor in this. That emerald, oh my yeah. gosh, if that is your birthstone or someone you love, can you imagine? Instead of opening up a little teeny kind of creamy, ugly emerald that's just really bland, they open up a ring, exact same price for a teeny little bland one, they open up a ring that blows their mind. That is what you're getting. And it's great because guys, especially for those of you who are new and you're looking at it, you're saying, oh my gosh, I get it, that's such a good deal. Yeah. Then here's what I want you to do, get it at home. If you don't absolutely love it, I always say, leave it at the mailbox. If it doesn't blow your mind, if you don't open that box and literally get nerd jewelry goosebumps like I do when I looked at this dance tonight, <laughs> then I want you to send it back. I have talked about turquoise for many, many years, Michael, as you know. This is incredible mm -hmm. to get an entire 15 stone ring of sleeping yeah. beauty. It's not some no-name mine. That is a mine that has been closed yeah. since 2012. It is almost mm -hmm. impossible. And sleeping beauty, if you ever get really high in sleepy beauty, it indeed is set in 18 karat gold. You know, Michael, you're doing what as you have done and led the kind of the, the the industry on is you're setting it in a gold surrounding, which that's the only yes. way you find Sleeping Beauty now typically is in 18K pieces. 
Oh, well, 100%. You go to the Hong Kong show in September. I mean, this is all you see. You see Sleeping Beauty set actually in platinum in 18 karat gold. The same thing with the Grizzly Air Mods. I mean, when you want a uh, turquoise, Sleeping Beauty is the world standard. Right now, the Grizzly Emerald Mine is probably the most famous working deposit mine in the world because of the high grade of material that is coming out of that mine right now. It's taking the world by storm. Tanzanite, we all know it's a one location gemstone, so we focus on the quality. Again, as the camera pans, you can see the effort put into these pieces. And I always say to people, if, when you're gonna buy jewelry, why not invest in the best stone money can buy? Yeah. That's exactly what I strive to do. Again, we're, I, I love this chance, and I mean, I love that shot. Look at the clarity it's and the color. Beautiful. They taught me a GIA. The more color, the better it is. All right, guys, so I've lost size 12. There's literally one dozen left in size five. Then it'll be six, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and 11 remaining. But here's the update for just the Tanzanite alone, just this ring. I am under 500 now remaining. And by the way, that's not counting those of you who are on .com, you're going to hsn.com, you're buying it there, you're actually chatting with somebody. That doesn't count, you guys. I literally have less than 500 left in the Tanzanite ring. Now, Michael will be with me at this hour and the top of next hour, which mm -hmm. means by then, because you know people will be shopping and figuring things out, that Tanzanite is going to be extremely limited by the end of that second hour, the end of the second full look at it. So it's a great time to pick it up. If you're an emerald baby, or if you just want truly one of the ultimate gemstones, diamonds, emeralds, rubies, and sapphires. Those are the four kings of the gem world. You're looking at it, 15 stones, two carats here, two carats here. And then... <laughs> If you're a turquoise lover and you're not picking up the Sleeping Beauty, then you're literally sleeping right now. Because anybody who watches any of our turquoise shows, and if you watch me, you know I get to host a lot of them. We all know turquoise, especially the Sleeping Beauty, is the creme de la creme. It is the ultimate collectible. And Michael, I don't know how you did it, but for those of us who really are passionate about turquoise, thank you. It is, I am, I literally have goosebumps because it's so, I was so surprised to see 15 stones of flawless Sleeping Beauty turquoise. I mean, that's yeah. just, it's literally unheard of. Oh, absolutely. And Sleeping Beauty is so important, ladies and gentlemen. Back in 1999, a GIA did a whole study on it and had the turquoise Sleeping Beauty on the front cover. Now, to put it to perspective, it only does four magazines per year, and it dates back to the 1930s. In all that time, only one issue was dedicated to turquoise, and that was on Sleeping Beauty. So it shows you how important even GIA, when I studied there, puts emphasis on Sleeping Beauty, because it, if it was a diamond, Suzanne, it'd be like basically D flawless. Mm -hmm. What you're seeing there gemologically is as perfect as a turquoise can be. It's got perfect robin's egg blue color, very high uh, concentration of copper, which gives it its hue, and there's no marks in it. There's no matrix, it's mm -hmm. pure, I mean, it's about as good as it can get. Yeah, it really is. I think, I think that's what I'm somewhat flabbergasted about this today's special. And I knew it was coming up. I knew I'd be talking about it. And then when you get to see it in person, it's just overwhelming almost. It just, you really, when you get it at home, I think you'll totally agree with me. Yeah. You'll be like, wow, she wasn't kidding. Yeah, she's a little nuts, but she was not kidding. These are <laughs> just, it's, it's one of those, honest to goodness, and I've done this for a long time. It's one of those once in a lifetime moments where you go, uh, wait, I can actually have those at that value and get it with five flex, the whole thing today. Yes, you can. But remember, we only have one more big, well, Colleen's gonna come up and then she'll have two hours a little bit later on. But the last of our Tucson Gem event where Michael will be back is at 9 p.m. tonight. And I'm telling you that Tanzanite just isn't gonna be there. And we also will not have some of the additional pieces which we're actually gonna move to right now. So I would say if you're kind of on the fence and you're thinking, oh, because I think Tanzanite is absolutely one of the most magical stones in the world, then I would absolutely grab that Tanzanite. We're down well under 500 on the Tanzanite right now. And I only have, oh, well, let me give you a quick update. Where do you want to start, Rob? Which one we're going to do first? Okay, so I'm going to pull the necklace over. I'm going to keep everything together. Oh, sorry about that. I'm pulling the necklace over. We've got the hoops. Okay, and the hoops and the necklace, these are the first two most limited right now, other than the Tanzanite ring. But here we go. In the necklace, I think it's wonderful. It's multi-link. Again, this is all precious metal, and it's all some of the rarest gemstones in the world. You have your grizzly emerald. You've got your beautiful Sleeping Beauty turquoise. 
Yes, I'm going to continue to giggle over that because it's amazing. And then I want you to see the tanzanite. This is probably be the last time I'm actually wearing it. We have 30 remaining in that tanzanite. This comes in at 18 inches long and you do have a little bit of an extender to be at one, about a one-inch extender on the back. In the necklaces, total, how many do I have left, Rob? I have 170 total. That's it for the entire country and all the folks who are watching. That's it then it's gone. If we move on down to the earrings, again, I've got all three. They're really awesome, bigger than J-Hoop, and I've got a little over 200 left in all three choices. Now, if you want the Sleeping Beauty, oh, is there only 12 left? Look at you girls, you're picking, I know, it, it makes sense, right? You're gonna grab these before they're completely gone. You also got a peek at this beautiful, beautiful cuff. Those are also limited. And then finally, I do have an alternative ring, and I'm gonna show you it, I'll show you it in the Tanzanite because the Tanzanite's been so popular. Look at this ring, it's very, very different than the Today's Special. I have 160 left. Now, I want you to appreciate it. The ring is 162 and there is not, I'm not, you know, saying it's, it, there's one, what, one, two pieces of tanzanite, 15 here, 166 versus 162. One, okay, just want you to get, kind of get your head around it, although I do love that impeccable center stone. So Michael, let's talk about the additional pieces because unfortunately I don't think okay. we will be talking about them next hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. And I love that, that piece that you just showed there, that solitaire ring there. Yes. Uh, that's a special cut that I invented, the Cento cut. Okay. It's got over 100 facets. So that eliminates what we call light extinction. So when the light comes in, it doesn't leak out the bottom of the stone. It's going to be redirected. And Suzanne, that's why that is so, so brilliant. That You can wear it on its own. That's why we made it that size. But if you ever want to just nestle it up, yeah. uh, the, the Tanzanite band there, guess what? They Why they, not? They together perfectly. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That, that, so you can Michael, that's, that's my kind want. of look right there, baby, right oh, there. Yeah. It's just I like, know, bring absolutely. it. <laughs> totally, it's fantastic. And our rings are comfortable to wear. They all have under galleries, They're a little bit wider shank at the back, so they don't spin on the finger. They're extremely well made. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. The whole thing is absolutely gorgeous. All right, so, Michael, let's talk Thank a little you. bit about the necklace, because, again, that's about sold out. Okay. Um, let's jump into it. Why did you choose this type of design? What I wanted to do is, um, I've always loved, you know, the standard bar, bar design. The problem is my wife was always telling me, Susan, she says, it goes here, it goes there. And I says, I can fix that. Notice how we top hinge it. So this is going to fit with anyone. We're all built differently, gals. My wife said, you know, you need a necklace that is just going to fit everyone. So I top hinge it. Notice how it just falls comfortably, and especially today. You know, we're working on the computer a lot. We're Skyping. We're doing all this. You know, the earrings and the neck, that's very important. That's what people see. That's why I designed it. But notice, Suzanne, I did not change the color consistency because whether you buy today's special or whether you're just going to buy the earrings, you know, the bracelet and the necklace, the matching is going to be flawless. I take that seriously. I do it myself. Oh, look at our wonderful model. I mean, do you see how that just fits? So no matter how you how we're built, it's just going to fit properly. And I love the scroll work that I that I put in all my pieces. I think it just fancies it up. It, my collection is not about just taking a gemstone putting on a mounting, it, the mounting has to be as important as a the stone. They have to work together. Mm -hmm. And by the way, in the bracelet, we have three sizes. The um, small is a six and a half, the medium is seven, the large is seven and a half. I know it's a lot of pieces to talk about at once. It's got this wonderful kind of spring action. It fits beautifully, but you do have three custom sizes on the bracelet to go back to it. The the ring, the second ring you're seeing, that's a big old topaz right there. <laughs> we're, we're talking a very large topaz. In fact, let's see, the uh, tanzanite ring is 3.11 carats with 2.85 carats of just the white topaz alone. In the emerald, we're talking uh, 285, 285. So the, uh, the topaz is substantial. And as um, Michael said, that's his specialty cut. And it is just absolutely on fire. The thing just sparkles and sparkles against itself. There's such bounce. There's such life to it. I think that's what makes that piece so exciting. Okay. Um, here's a quick update in the earrings. Cause again, there's a lot of extra stuff. The sleeping beauty is now sold out. So I'm not going to take them off at the moment, but do not order those. That's not even an option now. Okay. The next to go is going to be those gorgeous emerald earrings. And then I've got a bit more in the Tanzanite, but these are very limited now with these being completely sold out in the cuff. I'm doing pretty good on the bracelets. You're in pretty good shape there. Again, if you're picking 
picking up the tanzanite ring. Size 12 is gone. I believe probably size 5 has got to be gone at this point. Um, but I still have 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 in the ring. And then I love this additional ring. I mean, it is really substantial. And Michael, you're my kind of guy. You're like, hey, pile them on together. Why not? <laughs> oh, absolutely. And, you know, there's times when we want to do that. We just we know we're really dressed up and really feel good about ourselves. And, you know, you walk into a room and you just want to have all that gemstone happening there. But even if you want to separate it, that we made that solitaire ring on purpose to be big enough that, hey, you can wear it alone when you want to. But I think, honestly, when you own gemstones of this caliber... You're not going to want to put them in the jewelry box. Uh -uh, they're on my fingers all day. Well, you know what, Michael? Your eye just gravitates towards it. When I came up, you know, they set yes. everything up on trays for us, so I get to see the whole show for the first time. I see it on paper, right? And I see it written down, and I see it on the computer, but I don't actually see it until I get to the set. And right as I walked up, Michael, I'm like, Bleh. and the, you know, like the drool started. I was like, oh my gosh. And when I grabbed the Today Special, I knew it was going to be wonderful. And thank you for that, because you've just done a beautiful job at this collection but I did it even it even exceeded my expectations 10 times fold I mean it's just it's that good girls and I'm so excited you guys are loving it too all right so the necklace is almost gone just hang on there for the necklace my earrings are almost sold out we'll give you an update a little bit later on than that we have the cuff in three different sizes which is great and three different gemstones obviously we have the additional ring with that great big topaz almost three carats on the white topaz alone that's still available in 5 through 12. And then, of course, the star of the show today is that incredible today's special. They're all fighting for attention, though, because they're all so beautiful. <laughs> it's like, and, and it's like sticking a bunch of hosts in a room. <laughs> notice how there's not one stone there that's washed out. I and mean, Because, you know, as we're working together for the first time, you know, because we're separated. Normally, I would be there in the studio. But right, right. you notice that when you looked at the collection, there was not one stone to say, mm, it's kind of washed out. No. Because if you're new to my collection, folks, I mean, I've got a lot of fans, a a lot of you have seen me for the first time. I think, Suzanne, you said it. Raise the expectations. When you get this home, I want you to be very excited because you're going to open up that box. You're going to say, oh, my goodness. Yeah. Are those emeralds? Is that wow. tanzanite? Right. The color will just simply, it'll thrill you. Just wait till you see this in real life. Okay, guys. So, again, we've got the additional pieces. I honestly wouldn't wait too much longer on those, though, because, unfortunately, we'll bring them back. But, like I said, Sleeping Beauty earrings already gone. The emerald earrings are almost sold out. Did we lose one of the necklaces? I would be surprised if we had. Okay, Tanzanite's almost gone in the necklace. So again, we'll keep you updated, but we gotta move on because I have, I don't know, Burmese ruby. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> All right, guys, I wanted to show you this. Now, Michael, this is a little bit of a surprise. You didn't know I was gonna do this. So I'm gonna have him take just a little quick time off for one second. He didn't know I was gonna do this, but I had to because again, I was going through the show and I'm looking at what he's brought us, and it was just mind-boggling, some of the pieces he's put together. He has created a collection. We probably are not gonna have time to get to this, but it's called Ethiopian Opal. Yeah, the Ethiopian Opal. All right, get this. We have a pear-shaped ring, we've got this beautiful bracelet, and we have the multi-line, or the multi-line bracelet. We have the matching earrings, which were a drop, and of course we have this incredible ring. We're talking about champagne, Ethiopian Opal, Peridot, Citrine, Swiss Blue, London Blue, Topaz, all in precious metal. I want you to see that opal. Look at the fire. There are 100 rings left. This aired one other time today, and that ring could be sold out. The stones, once again, are beyond incredible. I have six to 11, only five and 12 are now gone. The bracelet does come in a couple different sizes. Um, in fact, oh, let me find it. Oh, that's it. Okay, we just have medium large in the bracelet, so let me take one of these away. Medium large, you can see there's all the additional stones, but what you're not really seeing, and let me see if I can hold it better. I want you to see, the fire is insane on these stones. I mean, that's what you look for. If you know, Ethiop Ethiop Ethiopian opals, that is a mouthful, um, are some of the rarest in the world, and they're some of the finest in the world. And, and I'll tell you what, our cameras are doing an okay job there. That one's showing it pretty good, but these are absolutely just springing with fire. And look at that color play. That's everything you could dream of in an incredible quality opal, just beautiful. So again, I just wanted to show you that because unfortunately we're not gonna probably time to do it in the hour, 
but I saw it and I know you'd want to see it too because I'm just like you. <laughs> All right, coming up next, we have Burmese rubies and we have some other special items joining us again. Michael will be here just around the corner, so stay right with us. Looking for the perfect way to treat yourself? Join us for What a Girl Wants. Find the pretty new things that you've been craving. And don't miss a special edition of What a Girl Wants with Sarah for more ways to indulge. Starts Thursday at midnight. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Electronics, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered. Shop smarts and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. Come with us on a journey to Greece and discover innovative beauty solutions that are time-tested. Powered by the Greek flora, Perez harnesses a wealth of plant species that exist only in Greece. We handpick our Greek botanicals and extract them in our own labs. By combining the best of nature with science, Perez delivers powerful results in each product. Immerse yourself in the beauty of Perez on HSN and HSN.com. Runyon, you're watching HSN, and this is part of our wonderful Tucson Gem event. I am thrilled and really, quite frankly, honored to have Michael with me today. He has been in the jewelry business for more than four decades, and he brings us wow. I mean, it's just, to me, we should have renamed it Michael Wow Show, <laughs> because there's some things that we have on the show that even I, doing this for a long time, rarely see. How about Burmese rubies. Uh, my birthstone is a ruby. I very rarely get to talk about this one <laughs> because it is truly one of the world's absolute most coveted and finest rubies. Much like that Sleeping Beauty turquoise Michael brought us in the Today's Special, same story. Rarely see it, hardly available. And this is once again incredible what he's done. That ring, check out that ruby ring. I'm going to attempt to hold it still so we can get it really, really close. But in the ring, we are talking about a cluster. There's less than 300. It's one point two one carats and right now I have five through twelve it was saved for our show in the bracelet three sizes six and a half seven seven and a half that is a half a carat with white zircon which is a genuine gemstone as well I have 300 bracelets available so Michael I just want to jump right into this as well uh, as well yes. this is the world famous Burmese ruby what makes it so rare and unusual well, basically, uh, it was a year ago I had the opportunity to go to Burma and to visit Mogok. So if you see a map of Burma, there's what they call the Ruby Tract, and right dead center is the town of Mogok. And Mogok, and there I am, it's, they call Welcome to Ruby Land, and Mogok is a valley that's surrounded by three mountain ranges. It's actually elevated. It's about 3,000-foot elevation. And there is all the artisanal miners actually hand-sitting and hand-mining the incredible Burmese ruby. And it's an, it's an incredible place because all the mining is done by, by the local citizens and they get to keep everything they mine. They, they don't work for a conglomerate, they're self-employed. So you have families there mining the ruby and then they go to the open market that I attended and I would buy the actual ruby gravel, which I will show you here. And all this is important because Suzanne, this is what we call in gemology a secondary deposit. What makes this spectacular is that these rubies, about 100 million years ago, formed high up in the mountains that surround Burma. So what happens is, over time, erosion takes those rubies, they go down these rivers, and they fall into this valley. So it's, it's like a natural catch basin for all these rubies to fall down. Now, what happens is, is that over eons, these rubies become naturally cleaned by Mother Nature, which is why Mogok has supplied the most expensive and rarest rubies known to humankind. Most of the rubies in the British crown jewels actually come from Mogok, and that's where those stones come from. Wow, that's, that's wonderful. Now, I would like you to talk a little, about, a little bit about the design of the cuff. I, I love yes. it. I love it that it's, it's delicate, but yet it's got some oomph, and I like that it's kind of springy. It's very easy to wear this cuff. Oh, when we were in uh, Hong Kong, the Hong Kong show in 2019, I saw all the top designers making these wonderful flexible cups. Mm -hmm. And I said, I can do that too, and I can do that with my stone. So what we do is we insert a hand titanium rod that we pull ourselves and we, we twist it. 
And then we take all these little sections. Now, these are separately cast, Suzanne. So what we do is we cast them, we polish them, we plate them, and then we all insert them into position. So every single one has been done by a bench jeweler. No, the advantage to this is that it has that springiness, like you said. We do have it in different sizes. It allows you to comfortably stack it. And because of its design, the gemstones always face forward. So if I want to wear it with a, with a watch, I can do mm. that. Now, here on the turntable, I have the actual gem gravel. Do you remember when you were seeing that video of them mining the stones? This is the actual gravel that I bought there. Now, watch. How do we separate the rubies? See? You see that fluorescent light? Uh -huh. You see those red stones? That is untreated ruby. There it is. And that is exactly how we find it in these alluvial deposits. And this is what we call gem-bearing gravel direct from the open pits that you saw in the video of Mogok, a land that time has forgotten. There's almost no electricity there. And they use all hand tools that date back a millennia, producing the best rubies in the world. They're just gorgeous. I mean, and everyone, if you're really into uh, collecting some of the highest end gemstones in the world, you always would love to have a Burmese ruby in your collection. It's one of those, again, it's very rarefied air. It's very much like the Sleeping Beauty turquoise in the Today Special. That that's just things that just you and I can't get a hold of all the time. You know, you don't go to your even, you could even go to an exquisite jewelry store and say, oh, do you have rubies? And they're like, oh yeah, we've got plenty of rubies. And they go, no, 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 I want a Burmese ruby. And they'll look at you like you're insane. And they'll, can we get back to you on yeah. that one? Because chances are they're not going to have a Burmese ruby. That is truly how very rare they are. And again, Michael, thank you for what you do. You have access and, and you go to these places, you know, you, you have direct access yeah. to be able to bring it in. And again, I think when you you watch these shows, especially since Michael is premiering today and he'll be back, obviously. We'll have some awesome, awesome things coming up. You have to go, how do they, how do, they do it? That's crazy, it's Burmese Ruby. You know, even those of us who do a lot of jewelry, you kind of wonder that. But again, Michael, that is because of your incredible connections, you're able to bring these directly to us. And honestly, Suzanne, I had to physically go there myself. It's the only way of ensuring that you're getting the real Burmese rubies. You have to actually go to Burma. I went there, actually bought the gem-bearing gravel. We, through Brinks, we send it back to Canada. We had it all cut, and that's how we we're able to do it. And what makes it special is this ruby has a very high chromium content. And Suzanne, have you ever heard the term pigeon blood red ruby? That specifically refers to Mogok Burmese ruby. Because mm -hmm. in this area, it's the ingredients that are in that ruby that give it that incredible beautiful hue. Did you notice on the turntable when I was using the, the black light how it's fluoresced? Mm -hmm. Especially if you're there in Florida. You get this out in the sunshine, they actually literally glow red because of the high chromium content. That's what makes it special. Oh, it's that's so cool. It's so awesome. And again, it's one of those open the box moments. You know, I love, I think we do yeah. a pretty darn good job showing our jewelry here at HSN, but it's one of those things that when you open the box, it's breathtaking. You know, it's my birthstone, I'm a July baby. And so I've had rubies before, nothing compares to this one. And I've seen a whole lot of rubies, yeah. especially when it's your birthstone. Yeah. Also, please appreciate the cluster. These aren't little seed beads, guys. Look, if I just covered up every other ruby, that's what, that one ruby right there with all the precious metal, I bet you that's what you'd get normally for 245 or 254, right? Oh, yes. But then multiply that by these giant clusters. These aren't little teeny chips, you know, they're not insignificant yeah. little pieces. And I love that soft teardrop. I thought that was very pretty that you made this a very elegant ring in this design. Thank you. And you're very astute for noticing that with, with the ruby size because I'm looking at my notes here. They're almost a fifth of a carat each. So, I mean, they're, they're quite substantial. And did you see what the ruby gravel, because these stones travel and it takes so long to get down to the valley, they become tumbled by Mother Nature so they naturally get smaller. So, to, but they become higher grade. So, you can see That's here. Weird. See, here's the ruby. Here's the actual ring. And you can see here the rough. So, now it, it makes sense when you see the size and how hard this is to get. But your race is in. The value that's there for your customer is much more in this ring because of the individual size. And thank you for pointing that out because you're right. These are not chips. They're not insignificant. Yeah. But the color, I mean, okay, come on. You look at that. That's what a ruby should look like. Yeah. You're right. And you know what's funny, Michael, is the vast majority of people have only seen inferior rubies. They don't even realize yeah. because there's a lot of bad rubies out there. And normally that's oh, yeah. what we can afford. 
Let's just be honest. If it's your right. birthstone, you're like, well, I got a little teeny ruby, you know. You can't afford a big ruby like this. You can't afford this kind of quality. You can't, you don't have access to it, quite frankly. So thanks again, Michael, to be able to bring it. And that's a great shot of it right there. You can just look yeah. at that red. Look at that almost fluorescentivity of it, right? It almost feels like it's fluorescent in a way because of the quality you're getting in one of the rarest gemstones in the world. Now, Michael, in case someone isn't familiar I'd love you to repeat how you work the metals in your jewelry because I find this to be yes. really fascinating and very smart actually. And it really is, I think, one of the bases of the popularity of this program. Most sterling silver uh, is 7.5% copper. Silver, you have to alloy it to make jewelry. Um, a company just about on the other side of the border here in Buffalo, New York, United Refining takes pure silver and they take palladium which is over $3,000 an ounce, and they melt these two together. So instead of using all that copper, they replace a little of that copper with actual palladium. That enhances the metal and makes it stronger and basically stops it from tarnishing. Then we take real 18 karat gold, and all that plating that you see on the sides of all our jewelry that we give it that two-tone effect is real 18 karat gold plating wow. that's plated on the side. That would be yellow gold or rose gold, but this is a superior metal. So with this collection, I start off, I mean, I talk a lot about the gemstones, but it's the metal. It's what it's made from. Everything about it is just a little bit better quality, and folks, when you get it at home, you'll feel the difference, you'll see the difference. And that's why I suggest, I've been on television in America for 22 years, and I'm so happy to be part now of the uh, HSN family. Thank you very much. And we are so honored to have you, Michael, with us. And we want to say hi to a fan of yours, Diana from Pennsylvania is joining me. You're on with Michael, Diana. Thank you, and welcome to his premiere at HSN. Oh, Michael, Michael, Michael. I hope you can hear me. My phone is kind of yes, going in and out. I, my heart leaped out of my chest when I turned on HSN and seen your smiling face. And mm -hmm. I just want the customers to know his product is no joke. Anytime you buy any piece from Michael, it's an heirloom piece. I bought a piece 10 years ago. It looks brand new. And it stays brand new. And um, I just welcome, I'm glad you're back, Michael, because you're the only one I would buy jewelry from. It's, it's plain and simple. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, and those words mean so much to me because I worked so hard to put this collection together. And, folks, it's true. The quality, the, the, how long this will last. You know, why do I use a silver plate and alloy? It is more expensive, but it's better for you because, just like she said, doesn't tarnish. It looks new year after year. Why do I use Burmese Ruby? Because it's the best. And Jay says that. If you go to the website, they say it's the best. They actually said that. I'm quoting them. Why not? When is it ever wrong to buy the best? It's never <laughs> wrong to buy the best. And that's why I strive to do. And, and I'm proud. Notice everything you've seen so far this hour. It's top drawer quality, and that's signature to my collection. And, Diana, thank you so much for joining us. I know your phone's kind of cracking thank up you. a little bit, but we appreciate your time. And please call in if you'd like to say hi to Michael. Welcome him to HSN. We're so thrilled he's here. And I think, Michael, you're absolutely right. Now, this is a treat. You definitely want to make sure you mark your calendar when Michael's going to be on the air because he just brings you spectacular. This is a Burmese ruby. I haven't even offered a Burmese ruby in years and years and years. And, again... Big, significant, important. There's so many great terms for this ring. And then, of course, that beautiful bracelet. Now, the bracelet is in three sizes. We have six and a half, seven, and seven and a half. Although I will say it's very flexible. So I wouldn't get too worked up about it. Just go for your general size. In the ring, do I still have five through 12, Rob? My fabulous producer. Okay, size five is now sold out. I have six through 12. 12 is almost sold out. Your gemstone on the cluster, I'm looking it up, is 1.21 carats. And again, this is that world famous mining region. Michael has been to it directly and that's how he can bring us in pr prices that I do. I do know if you're new or if you love jewelry and you've never seen his line, you doubt. I get it. I'd be at home going, really, Burmese Ruby? Come on, that's like the best in the world, right? No, just understand, he just has these amazing, after four decades, of procuring gemstones and jewels around the world. He's got these great relationships. And again, cut everybody out and bring it right to you. That's why now you can get a Burmese ruby ring. Just incredible. All right, guys, we'll keep you updated on the rest of this in just a few moments, and we will get him back. But now we have some more surprises. 
I was super excited to do this show because there's some very, very unique pieces. And this truly is one of those. It is completely different than our today's special. It's completely different than what you've seen so far today or what, quite frankly, what you've seen in our Tucson event, which once again ends tonight. I know Adam's, um, Colleen's coming back for two more hours with her collection. Then um, Adam will be here from nine to midnight and that'll be the finale. So we're wrapping up our big Tucson event day. The next one you're about to see is what I would consider a limited edition. Almost think of it as one of a kind couture. So check this out, we'll go in really tight because I think it's magnificent. This is the Pink Spinel Collection. Look at that butterfly, two butterflies, and they're flittering and fluttering around those beautiful branches and the beautiful flowers, all 100% precious, precious metal, and yep, believe it or not, that is Pink Spinel. It is, once again, incredible. You get the pendant, you get the chain. The pendant's two inches long, the chain is 18 inches with a two inch extender. Your carat weight total is 2.58 carats. Now, check the earrings. These are really, really, to me, almost three dimensional works of art. They're actually a three quarter hoop design. They're 3 16 of an inch, 2.44 carats total. And I have 20 earrings and about 25 necklaces for everyone. And then again, sold out. Well, Michael, I wish you could have done more than that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and the pink spinel is rare. Uh, like on my turn, when they're finding the, the rubies, so when they're sifting for the rubies, they find the red and pink spinel mm -hmm. inside what they call the gem bearing gravel. So right over here, actually right there, this is the pink. So this is natural untreated pink spinel. It's found with this. Matter of fact, interesting sidebar note is that if it wasn't for the pink and red spinel, the rubies would not form because they form with manganese. That is the actual material that makes it. So when they're finding these stones, they also find this pink spinel. It's relatively rare. It's an exotic gemstone. And what I love about this piece is that if you're a follower of my collection, you know, I take not just, I mean, I talk a lot about the gemstones, but I'm very much an artist too. And I love to create a lot of whimsy, very seen pieces. And that's exactly what we were doing here. And we, we, we take our, our product very seriously. Independent, the butterflies are actually separately cast, Suzanne. So we make them in mm. separate castings. Mm. We pre-polish them and then we assemble them together. Why is that important for the customer? It's better made, it's better finished, and it's the way fine jewelry has been made for centuries. And that's exactly how we make this now, I love these wonderful love matching earrings because you know what? Oh. Especially being up here in Canada, I am waiting for spring. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Under 10 <laughs> feet of snow, right? Well, you know what I love about That's the earrings right. too, Michael, is you didn't stop at the front. That whole vine, you guys, trails all the way, three quarters of the way around that earring. So again, with most jewelers, what are they going to do? They'll put a little while in front and then like, well, you really can't see the back, so who cares? I want you to see. In fact, I'm going to try to hold them still. I'm going to move them, guys. So you can, but look at this. Look at how these beautiful precious metal flowers and vines wrap all the way around the precious metal in the earring itself. And then obviously it ends there in the back with the big uh, clasp. But just so charming, whimsical. You know what this reminds me of? Um, I was able to go to Newport, Rhode Island to the mansions up there. I'm mm -hmm. sure you're familiar with them. And if you ever been to like a big fancy auction where they're auctioning off the heirloom jewelry this is the kind of whimsy that it reminds me of those really important heirloom pieces because it is whimsical and that's what women who have a lot of money love to collect absolutely we took our, our inspiration from this from the art nouveau period which honestly i think was ahead of its time that was a you know more like the turn of the 20th century it was a time of using a lot of flora fauna insects in wonderful jewelry designs that originated, of course, in France and Paris. And it's always been one of my favorite cities. And you can see that influence in this gorgeous set. Yes. And those spinels, oh my goodness, they're so, are, notice how brilliant they are. Oh. Do you know that a spinel is in the same crystal system as a diamond? No, the, the clarity on these spinels are insanely good. Like just insane. All right, guys, again, please stay right there if you're on the line for it. These are gonna be sold out in just a second. They are, they're really gonna be that heirloom piece like Diana, for, Diana from uh, PA mentioned. All right, coming up. Of course I have more. Wait till you see it. Very different than what you've seen so far. And then another look at our very, very popular today's special. 
Love reading reviews from fellow HSN shoppers? Reviews help everyone shop smarter, so share the love. Find the perfect legging? One-of-a-kind necklace? Go ahead, dish. Search Write a Review at hsn.com to learn how to leave a review from your HSN account. We may even use it on air. All of our reviews are from real HSN customers and verified purchases. We want to hear from you. Search Write a Review at hsn.com now. joining me and he has been in the jewelry business for more than 40 years traveling around the glo globe bringing gorgeous michael i'm renaming the show it's just bring gorgeous with michael <laughs> because it's breathtaking and everything in this show also we'll take another look at our today's special i do we have about two minutes to tell you something this is brand new and then i'm gonna show you one more item before we do another look at the today's special very very limited on this it's blue spinel we've got the cross necklace with the pendant and we have the stud earrings michael i know we don't have a lot of time can you kind of take us through this okay. if you will uh, very, very quickly, Suzanne, this is this is cobalt blue spinel. Um, I'm telling you, this is going to be the hottest gem this year. Um, I'm the only one to have it. It's very hard to get this stone, and it has almost perfect luminosity. It, where have you ever seen a blue gem literally glow like this? It's because of the element cobalt. It's unprecedented. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. If you're going to buy a stone, buy this one because it's really hard to get this material. You're not even seeing it under a flashlight. Wait till you get this outside. It has the highest luminosity of any gem I've ever experienced in the past 40 years. Luminosity refers no to kidding. how much light is exiting the stone, how it glows. Suzanne, take a look at that color. That's oh, the it's, top. It's, um, again, I, the, the whole show should be called, you know, Wow with Michael. <laughs> <laughs> because you guys, I've never seen anything like this. And again, I've been very blessed to sell millions of dollars worth of jewelry. And it's so funny when I get, when I get tingles, like I get goosebumps, it's a good thing, you know, because as a jewelry host, yeah. you go, okay, this is really rare. Now, again, three things. We have the pendant that comes with the chain, 18 inches and an extender on the back. We have the stud earrings and we have the ring. The ring's available in five through 12. Oh, yeah. Although you must know all of this, just like my pink spinel butterflies are very, very, very limited. This is really quite exclusive just for you and really why you're catching the show tonight. These, these just won't make it to this evening for sure. All right, we're yep. gonna wrap up on this because Michael, I do wanna squeeze in one more item. And this one's, okay. again, so different. Um, I have to tell you, Michael, I was really thrilled to be able to do this show with you today. I was quite honored okay. because I knew you were going to bring some amazing items, like stuff that you just don't ever see. Check out this next collection. Yep. Michael, jump right into it for me, will ya? Okay, basically this is a new fossil siderite deposit. It's called the Mille Alta, and it's called Mille Alta because it's literally 4,000 feet up in the air. This deposit is pure, pure fossil siderite, but of a color and quality that I've never seen. Basically, it's been what we call geologically preserved because it's so high in the elevation in the Andes. Erosion has not gotten to it, and metamorphosis has not gotten to it. Now, Suzanne... Look at that color. Oh. Are you kidding me? I mean, oh my God. It's crazy. Thank you, Mother Nature and Michael. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> and look at these darling earrings. They're just gorgeous. They're so high end. This pendant, Michael, I love how you caged it. There's 20 left, but can you describe what you did there? You know, basically, that is a, what we call a French overlay cage design. And that design even wraps around the back, so it's actually, you could you reverse it if you wanted to. So, yeah. That actually dates back to the French Renaissance period. During the time of Louis XVI, a lot of the jewelry was made that way. And that's how the French used to build it then. Oh. So I copied that. And by the way, that appetite is a new find. It's called wow. Dauphine Appetite from Fort Dauphine 
in Madagascar. You'll be seeing a lot more of that later on this year from me. So both of those are new finds, and they were from Tucson. They actually actually did discover these in Tucson, uh, the last Tucson show, which was about a year ago. Oh, my gosh. And look at the appetite, how it just plays with the purple so well. And then, obviously, all the 18K gold accents. Remember, this is a sterling palladium mix, which is brilliant. It has a story of its own. If you haven't heard it, we'll talk about it in a few minutes. Um, just a neat, right? Like, so unusual. Such a fresh breath of air when it comes to just gorgeous jewelry collecting. All right. Michael's going to rejoin me in just a second. We're going to move on to another hour of our Tucson Gem event. Also, remember, it wraps up today. Colleen will be back. And um, if you could help me, Rob, I do want to let everybody know when Colleen's going to come back. I th She's back today at 7 to 9, and then Adam's taking over from 9 to midnight, and that's it. We're wrapping up our huge multi-day event. But right now, Michael's with me. We've got more to show you. Heading into this hour, I'm going to show you what we have in addition to Michael's collection. We've got Carol Brody joining me from the Rarities collection, and she did it again. Oh, I, I had to show you this piece. It's completely different than what you normally see from Carol. It really is, because I love the fact that it's this neat nylon cord, but it's got a gemstone on it. It's one of the most affordable pieces, and what I think Carol does so very well is she really rewrites fine jewelry. She says, you know what, I'm gonna make it hip, I'm gonna make it younger, I'm gonna make it youthful, and in this 